Hi, I'm Jordan Klebanoff. I'm an OBGYN resident from Christiana Hospital, and welcome to this week's episode of Pocket Pearls. So I'm here today with Drs. Beth Leopold and Vicki Greenberg, and this is Pocket Pearls Pondering Prematurity. In March of 2010, ACOG published a committee opinion highlighting three large clinical trials on magnesium sulfate for fetal neuroprotection. There have been several large studies looking at magnesium sulfate to prevent cerebral palsy. The problem is a lot of these studies use their own magnesium protocol. In general, the synthesis of the evidence has been that magnesium sulfate, when used for neuroprotection, has decreased cerebral palsy by about 30%. So Beth Leopold has some questions about what we do. What protocol do we use here? So good question. The protocol that we use comes from a New England Journal of Medicine article in 2008 by Dr. Dwight Rouse, where he studied um, women with singleton pregnancies ranging from 24 to 31 weeks gestation. In that article, the protocol was six grams uh, for a loading dose of magnesium, followed by two grams an hour. What if the woman did not deliver immediately? If moms have not delivered imminently, we tend to reevaluate them at 12 hours of magnesium sulfate infusion. If it looks like the risk for imminent delivery is gone, then we shut off the magnesium. If at a later date they're still at risk for imminent delivery before 32 weeks, we will restart magnesium sulfate. So if a pregnant patient needs to be restarted on magnesium, do we do the loading dose again? Another great question, Dr. Leopold. If it's been greater than six hours, then you can give a six gram loading dose. If it's been less than six hours, then you can continue with two grams an hour. Takeaway from today's talks are that when singletons between 24 and 31 completed weeks are at risk for imminent preterm delivery, we use a six gram loading dose followed by two grams per hour. Generally, we reevaluate at 12 hours and if it looks like that risk is gone, we stop the mag. And if it needs to be restarted, if it's greater than six hours from when the loading dose was given, we do reinitiate the six gram loading dose. Otherwise, we'll just continue at two grams per hour. Another great question, Dr. Leopold. Take if it <laughs> <So far>. <laughs> <laughs> needs to be restarted on magnesium, do we give the the <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, what about I'm doing my intro. Okay. We're actioning now. You ready? Action. Yeah, I'm ready. Action means I'm ready. 